Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 10, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started, but before we do, I want you to, I wanna give you a couple of tricks to help remember um, triangles and their different angles and help you kind of be able to remember them. So a cute triangle has a triangle that's less than 90 degrees. I always think it's cute. When someone says something is cute, they usually use like a kitten um, and they go, oh, it's so cute. They use a little boy. So it's smaller than 90 degrees. Small boys, small than 90 degrees, because it's obtuse, okay? Obtuse, I always think obnoxious, where it's bigger and grander than anything that we actually need, okay? So it's wider than 90 degrees, bigger than 90 degrees. And a right angle always has that itty-bitty box in it, every time, okay? The other thing that you need to remember is different triangles, okay? Triangles that have equal on all sides, are equilateral, equal sides, equilateral, okay? Isosceles is like ice cream cone, okay? When you turn it upside down, it looks like an ice cream cone. That's when two of the sides are the same, okay? Isosceles, ice cream, okay? Scalene, none of the sides match, but I always think of it as one of them would tip the scale, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and classify these triangles. Okay, so acute, right, or obtuse. Well, this one has the box that automatically, automatically makes it a right angle, right triangle. Okay, all right, this one, it does look kind of like an ice cream cone, but if you'll notice, one side is longer than the other here. So that makes it a scalene. Oh, sorry, we're not, we're not classifying those triangles. We're just trying to find out the angles. Okay, so the angles, all of them are less than 90 degrees. None of them go absolutely straight when you're looking at them. So these ones are acute. Okay. Now these ones, that is definitely wider and more obnoxious than anything that anybody needs. So that is going to be obtuse. Okay. All right. So now it wants us to draw a line segment between B and D on this one. Okay. So between B and D. So now it wants us to name and classify the triangle's forms, okay? Well, that is bigger than 90 degrees. 90 degrees would be going straight up and down, okay? Which makes it obtuse. Oops. I always think it's a C right there. I know it's not, but I always think it is for a half a second. Okay. And, yes, so they are both obtuse triangles okay they are mirrors of each other so they are both obtuse okay so okay this one it wants us to draw a line segment between a and c okay a to c okay now this one you'll notice it's smaller than 90 degrees okay it's leaned forward okay which means it is acute and because they are both mirrors of each other, they're both acute, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the back one, the back side, where you guys are gonna do the lesson check and we're gonna go ahead and do the star review, okay? It says Oliver drew a figure below to show the light traveling from the sun to the earth. Name the figure he drew. Well, the cool thing is that it's a light traveling from sun to earth. Well, a light traveling from sun to earth is actually called a ray. So we're going to call it a ray. And it's a ray between S and E. So it's ray S E. Okay. Armoin added one tenth and one one hundredth. What is the sum of these fractions? Well, Well, the cool thing about having a base of 10 is in order to make it 100, all you have to do is add a zero to top and the bottom. 
you can multiply them both by 10, which is just adding a zero. Okay, so now 10 plus 8 is 18, and the denominator stays the same. All done. Okay. All right, Sam counted out loud by sixes. Jorge counted by eight. What's the first three numbers both and Jorge said? Okay, well, let's start over here and we're gonna go six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 40. Oh, nope, sorry, 42, 48. 54, oh, 60. Okay, so let's stop there for just, just for now. Okay, and now we're gonna go by eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. So let's stop there for now and see if we've got enough. Okay. So they both have a 24. Okay. They both have a 48. Okay. And it doesn't look like we're going long enough quite yet. So I'm going to add a couple more to the sixes and see if I can catch up to those eights. Okay. So 66, 72. Oh, look right there. 72. Okay. 72. Okay. All right. Now, a basketball team averaged 105 points per game. How many points did the team score in six games? Well, 105 and six. Six times five is 30, carrier three. Six times zero is zero, plus three is three. And six times one is six, 630 points. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 10.2. Come on back for 10.3. See you soon.